here let's make a simple exercise in autodesk inventor sheet metal so first let me open a template file new select new now here you can choose your template sheet metal or standard so we are going with sheet metal millimeter create now it will redirect to interface now from here first thing we have to change the unit or dimension or anything so simply you will see one option here sheet metal defaults click and this window will pop up and we already selected millimeter unit template so it is be here now thickness you can change it from here let's say 2 millimeter you can choose your default or material let's say i am going to change the material steel galvanized sheet see k factor i'll keep is default so default line always be lies on center say apply cancel now let's uh, create few things i'll start with uh, 2d sketch now choose one plane so i'm going to, going with x z plane now here i am going to activate any rectangle let's say center rectangle and start from origin point drag and simply here you can allocate the dimensions to the 200 press tab key 200 enter if you zoom in simply right click ok finish axis sketch now see this is our sketch now first option in sheet metal you have to choose face now here we already applied if you unchecked you can change the template but we will follow same profile first already selected because there is only one close profile and uh, the next thing we have to choose direction so this is moving towards up direction you will see the arrow so that is also good even though you can change it but let's keep as it is now bend we don't need to change any corner or relief angle so let it be as it is <coughs> apply cancel now the next operation i'll see flange now in flange there is two option either choose age or loop so i am going to choose age one and one age either choose if you choose upper one it's going upside If you press control key and again click on line, it will deselect. If you select bottom line, it will go bottom. Again, press control key, move your cursor near to edge, click and it will disappear or deselect. So simply I'll choose the upper one. Let's go with lower one. Now here the lines are selected distance, here you can define the distance how long you need to go, let's say 30, that's it. Now the second option is you need to define intersection of two faces, the distance. Now, now this distance is from outside, you will see here it is written two outer face, the outer face of this and outer face of this is the virtual sharp point of this going to be defined the similarly the from intersection of two inner points so we don't go with this we will go with outer sharp point now second option is bending angle we will put by value 90 degree now the next important option called bend position if i am going to choose bend adjacent face see it is move outside but here bend reference plane inside to reference plane this age what we selected this should be their reference plane and this is parallel to this or you can say collinear to this now bending radius you can define it by it is uh, what we 2 millimeter so keep 2 millimeter apply now again we are going to select 
this face but this time we need to change some more thing let's say open this one and edge i'll choose width now see you can use centered distance let's say 30 that's fine and the same situation all applies here if you see from this view look the virtual sharp angle and everything distance this is 30 that's fine apply again select apply again select this one and everything keep as it is just click apply change with corner apply cancel now let's make here vent so for vent you need to do little sketch practice click on this face create a sketch now activate circle tool let's say 150 120 60 90 and the last one 30 i'll use offset click and drag in which direction you want so i'll go this direction plus 5 enter second one 5 enter third one drag inside 5 millimeter enter the last one drag inside 5 millimeter enter that's it now i'll activate or simply say right click and say okay out of this offset activate line tool click from this point to this point right click okay now see here one dimension needed means this line is not collinear look simply click coincident constraint select the center point and this line center point and it is fully constrained again i'll use offset drag this side 2.5 move cursor to another direction 2.5 now you see at uh, bottom right four dimension needed it means this is not fully constrained so activate coincident constraint now see this is going to be out click the point and circle point and circle it's still two needed come down and the same thing apply here end point circle this point circle right click ok this is fully constrained now let's do some like a circular pattern first select geometry so these two geometry now select axis so click on this and select any circular edge now it is asking you how many counts we need we need six count okay then angle 360 degree rest keep as it is say okay now you will see now finish axis now i am going to activate 3d model extrude first output select cut then you have to choose profile profile means close profile you have to choose very carefully so let's start move this one something like here and i'll start from here one two three four five six seven eight one two don't choose anything in between these vertical lines okay i'll show you just stop view now look how the things are selected we selected only the things which is going to cut now here keep direction is perfectly moving because we cut feature boolean selected now distance so simply here one option called through all select through all 
so no need to define any dimension or anything just simply ok look now let us activate fillet I will choose let us say 5 ok see all edges are selected 5 say ok if you want to change appearance so you can apply something like ok so this is the simple tutorial autodesk inventor sheet metal now here we can do one more thing just edit one flange right click edit feature now at corner you will see this corners simply click any one and you can change gap click see the gap clearly let's say 2 millimeter look it's change if i'm going to say 5 millimeter it's change but by default it's 1 millimeter so say okay okay that's it thanks for watching don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel